Uh, so firstly, we're gonna be setting the uh, master pin. Um, so to default, it's one, two, three, four, uh, but I'll go through the sequence now and you can essentially set whatever pin um, you, you'd like. Um, so to do that, you have to enter one, two, three, four, and then press program. Uh, and then you should get those two lights that come on. Um, you might not be able to see it in the video, but essentially the green and the red light will be on. Um, then you need to press the arrow button and then zero, one, um, and then those little beep and those lights will go out. Um, and the next step uh, is to enter your four digit pin. We'll just go down the line here and go two, five, eight, zero. Uh, and then you have to re-enter your pin after pressing that one. Um, so two, five, eight, zero again, and we'll press that button. Um, two beeps uh, means the master pin has now successfully been changed. Um, so it's important obviously to write it down so you don't forget it, um, but once it's been set, um, it's, it's ready to, to essentially be uh, coded in. Um, there should be some instructions that explain to you how it works and how you change the batteries and how you do all this as well. Um, but for the purpose of this video, we'll just go straight to um, coding it to your opener. Now, to code it to the opener, um, essentially we've, there's a few different model motors. Um, this is the one that we've got on hand, which is a Glidomatic GTS. Um, it's your probably most common uh, overhead motor that's suitable with this particular keypad. Yours might look a little bit different. There is a few different designs. Um, on this particular one, the learn button is here, um, but there are other models that have like a slightly raised uh, receiver board that's a bit higher and the button is generally red and a little bit separate. So um, just keep that in mind because on those particular ones, the learn button, which it also does have, is, is for the limits. So if you do have that other one that has kind of like a raised board, so we'll have this bigger board, but then a smaller raised board above, um, just keep in mind that that is your learn button. Um, so ideally when you do press the learn button on your motor, if you press it just once real quick, a little red light will come on. So if that doesn't happen, you're probably pressing the wrong button, but if it does happen, you've pressed the right button for teaching the keypad. Um, and then essentially after that, then what we'll do is, um, so the light will go out, obviously if you're a bit too slow, so you just gotta make sure it's on. If it does go out before you've had a chance to press that keypad, um, just hit it again, um, just like that. The light will stay on for, for a bit. So essentially we'll just type in the key, the pin that we've put, which is 2580. Um, and then that should unlock the keypad. Um, and if you have a look now, the, the learn light did go out, but if you have a look, it's basically sending out a signal. So to code it in, you just make sure the learn light's on, press the button you want to do, it's programmed in, press it again. It's made that door operate. Um, press it again, it'll make that door operate. So ideally, you do need to check the instructions for the pin settings, so that's what this stuff is. It's different for everyone depending on your setup, if you have multiple motors or what you want it to do, but essentially those pins kind of tells uh, the keypad what it's allowed to do. So the keypad's been split up just like these pins, so you'll notice one's for up, one's for stop, and one's for down. Uh, but depending on how those pins have been set, essentially for our, our purpose, all the buttons will do the same thing, they'll just run that motor. Um, but yeah, it's different for everyone, so just keep that in mind. And then after that's done, um, it's all done. So to operate the motor going forward, you put the pin in, which is 2580, and then that unlocks the keypad, and then um, you press the, the enter button, and then we can operate the door by pressing that. After a certain period of time, this will lock itself. Um, so if you're really quick, you can just keep pressing the buttons and operating that door. Uh, but after a certain period of time, it will lock up again and you'll need to put that pin code in, press uh, the enter button, and then you'll be able to use those top three buttons to operate your door. Okay, that's it. Thank you guys.